the light's like super killer right now so i gotta get mic'd up and go in here because it's like it's just beautiful and i don't want to lose that so golden hour <laughs> Woohoo! Future length, producing something in the 20, 23, 46, what does that process look like? Is it is the pitch then centered around the characters that are involved in it and the task that they're setting out to do or what? That that was the $1,000 a minute for finished content or is there actually production budget that gets forked out in the process of that as well? <laughs> well, well, if I, if I nail down the right sponsor for a series, it's priceless, right? Is it possible for you to send me just an example or two of certain pitches before a project was made so I can just be aware of what that, like what type of level of detail? Thank you, I appreciate that. Well, today is a good example of one of my hesitations for starting daily videos. And that is, it's literally just been a day of emails and phone calls and it's like not really that exciting to document. But we are making progress and I feel like I have a clear idea of the different scenarios that I want to play out and which partners I would like to partner with. And what I'm attempting to do right now is just getting my pitch into their hands. Uh, so that's a lot of just like phone calls and emails and trying to get the right person on the phone and try to get this ball rolling as fast as possible. First call to a potential sponsor. Hi there. Um, I was hoping to be able to speak with someone on the marketing team. Uh, yeah, this is regarding an uh, original web series on slacklining that I'm producing. Yeah, partnerships. Advertising or partnerships, something like that. One of the most helpful phone calls I've had today so far was with actually a guy from a big network in the States. He was one of the producers there. Uh, and it's very handy being able to get someone that high up uh, in an organization on the phone uh, because I really feel he was able to explain to me more the process of how people create pitches and how they pitch them to networks and just global distribution as a whole uh, because he was explaining to me what it would look like to have a five minute piece on the air or even you know a 23 minute or a 46 minute piece uh, and kind of explaining some of the numbers behind that as far as financially what they put money up to make uh, because I was trying to figure out do I want to maybe try to get this series to be aired uh, on a network or is that a route that I even want to take so I needed to talk to someone and <laughs> essentially from this phone call I realized that yeah a network route isn't really the route that I want to go the route that seems most ideal to me is to be distributing the content onto online platforms like YouTube uh, where people can watch it for free immediately and the main reason why brands or sponsors will get involved is because of either additional videos that I'll make uh, or or brand integration for example like wearing a jacket from a certain company and uh, saying that the video was made in part by them so those are kind of the two main different types of sponsorship I'm looking at trying to get one brand integration so like we would be wearing a jacket from a company that we like and they would give us money to be wearing the jackets in the series and at the end of it, it would say the series is made in part by this company and then the other type would be from like a filmmaking company where because I teach adventure filmmaking uh, their gear would get used in the creation process gear that I most likely use anyways uh, but we would use their gear and then after the fact I would create either a tutorial or some piece of content focusing on how I use their equipment uh, so they could use that to show how their equipment gets used on a high-end production done by a solo adventure filmmaking guy like myself so those are kind of my two uh, main things that I'm trying to do and uh, yeah I feel bad because a video like this is mostly just me here talking, but I feel like I want to be able to get these thought processes out uh, so other creators can think through how they want to be maybe trying to get funds behind their projects. And so I self-funded on Tethered because I really wanted to have an example project to show what I was capable of doing. And it was a story I was passionate about telling. So that's a win-win. Uh, but now with this series, I'm really passionate about trying to tell more stories with highlining. But right now I don't have any funding to make it happen. So that's why I'm looking at options for brand integrations and uh, sponsorship kind of like that. The reason why I'm not doing crowdfunding, I've gotten that question a few times and people have been asking how I can support. I don't think that crowdfunding is the best option for me because frankly, my audience isn't that big. I really value you, but I don't have many yous that are interested in what I'm doing. Nonetheless, are ready to fork out money from their own wallet to help make my project happen. 
To put some numbers to this, I think I could probably get between three to $6,000 crowdfunded. That's if I really pushed, if I really like put my back into it, and it'd really take like the next month of just going at it almost full time to make that happen. I would way rather put my efforts towards trying to track down sponsors that would get value out of being partnered with my content uh, because then we can get funding through the sponsors, they get value by the content, we get to tell great stories, and you get to watch them. Uh, I would way prefer that setup versus trying to crowdfund at this stage of the game. Frankly, I just, I don't think it would work very well. Uh, $6,000 isn't enough actually at all to be creating the series that I'm seeking to create. Uh, so I need multiple $6,000 uh, from multiple different sources if I want to be able to pull this all together. Uh, yeah. So hopefully that sheds a bit of light uh, on the crowdfunding campaign. If you are wondering how you're able to help out this series, I mean, essentially just uh, pointing people back to what I'm doing here is the best way to do that for now. I've had my Kessler second shooter for about a year now, and uh, I'm making a year with the Kessler second shooter video. And so I'm gonna head out right now and shoot the self interview for that. Casey Neistat today released a video about why he wears sunglasses uh, when he's uh, vlogging. And uh, I can definitely see why that would be helpful, but this isn't this isn't really my jam. Let's uh let's head out and go find a good spot for this interview. Thinking just up the mountain, but we'll have to see. I think I found a spot just on the side of the road here, up behind uh, where I live, and uh, there might be a few cars coming by, but uh, we should be able to make it work. I might be able to make it work if I frame myself with kind of this as my backdrop. My name is Levi Allen and I'm an adventure filmmaker from Vancouver, Canada. Wow, this light's killer. The light's like super killer right now, so I gotta get mic'd up and go in here because it's like, it's just beautiful and I don't want to lose that. So, golden hour. Woohoo! Got the interview shot. It went well. Uh, things took a little longer than I thought because cars kept driving by, but uh, always works out. It amazes me how much of a difference good light makes. The difference between the light at the beginning of the interview towards the end where it gets like more gray and flat. It's amazing how much of a difference good light makes. Uh, so, friend, we're at the end of this episode of Daily Slack. I'm, I'm so, I feel like I feel like I might have bored you out a little bit. I don't feel like this was very special, and that's okay. Uh, it's just kind of how it goes. So today's happy crappy is my crappy was, yeah, it was kind of just like overall a boring day, but like doing things that needed to get done, and like calls and emails. That's not really my jam, but it needed to happen. And my happy is I now have everything shot that I need to put together the Kessler video that I've been wanting to put together for a couple months now. So I'm pretty happy about that. I feel like I should be asking a question that you can then like answer in the comments, but, but nothing's really coming to me. So until next time, guys, remember, life's better when you make stuff.